Hey, good morning. It's five o'clock. Got up before the chickens. <laughs> so this is where I left off uh, on my uh, uh, putting a, uh, adapting a, an old index setup that Rob had kicking around in the shop there. It's not the quality of the uh, finger he's got on that KOE head, but it, it's not bad. It doesn't have micrometer adjustment, but it'll be fine. I'm going to adapt this uh, smaller 24 division plate on there. And uh, this part here is uh, off an EDM machine. Uh, that's long gone. And so I took and cut it. So it slips in there, then I'll make a sleeve out of this scrap piece and uh, this collar will lock it down, drill a hole in it, and hopefully get this thing in there. Something like that. And it should work uh, for indexing. Then over here, I've got the... Uh, the uh, Working restoration. I'm not going to repaint this thing. I got to leave uh, leave it like it is. But uh, I've taken a look at it, and uh, this is uh, number two sixty one E two six one, and I've seen some later versions E fifteen seventy. So they may have made uh, a couple thousand of them. And the company's still in business, but I'm sure they don't offer this, but they may have uh, parts. It's uh, all tools now in Union, New Jersey. And uh, it says on the internet that they make tooling fixtures like this, I suppose, and uh, small arms. So they're still busy doing stuff. And it's the same company because they uh, list uh, the Rotodex. Oh, my heater comes on, so I better talk a little bit louder. I'm still fiddling around with this. Um, Unicam resharpening fixture. It's a fiddly little thing, and I'll get back on that and get that, <laughs> get that salt. But in the meantime, um, I, I use this old Axelson all the time. And uh, so I'm going to lubricate it and talk about it, okay? It's just really good to take care of a machine, and this is just a fantastic machine. So I'll start here. I've already wiped everything down with the rag of kerosene, but I'll have one here pick up the mess. So we got an oiler here. And I'll tell you, these uh, axles, there I go, got a good shot into that lead screw. Uh, there's no bushings. It's, uh, they're all needle bearing. All these things are needle bearing here and everywhere. Now you take that uh, brown and sharp mill behind me. That is all super precision fit bronze bushings. But not this axis. And there's two here. Get that just right on there. There we go. Kind of the back side of the meat of the half nuts, I guess. Okay, we're not done. Got the tail stock. Takes a different can. You know? Yep. 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 Yeah, I think it's really good <laughs> to, to lube everything. Now, these, these, uh, there's a base oilers here, and I already got them for uh, filling up the uh, tailstock base. So there's, there's the four or five more there that I've already got to. 
Now, now over here. <laughs> There's one here. You gotta get it in the middle. Get uh, half nut lever. Get that back. Then we got the uh, direction shifter here. And there's uh, under here is one for the uh, operating rod. Look at the operating rod itself. Okay. Now, not even partially done. We'll get over here. Here's the clutches. That's a longitudinal clutch. Give that a really good shot. The cross feed clutch and give it a triple shot. Kind of a, a weak part on an early axle sun is the cross feed. They vastly approved that. So I'm just going to flood that with oil and it just goes down into the apron. Very good. Little drip. Okay, right here is a hidden one. And right in the center of the hand wheel, this is all needle bearing. There's five needle bearings in this uh, hand wheel. And I oil that real good until it comes out the edge here. Okay, any excess just goes down. And here's the oil window here. I hope you can see I'll get you down here. Might have got out of vision there for a little bit. Okay, here's the oil window. And I found on the axle sun, you want to uh, keep that uh, cup all the way full. And then it's got, uh, you can adjust the oil pump here. So I put a knurled knob on it. And I just crank that thing on full. When I see too much oil up on the top, I start turning it down. I like that system. Lots of oil. Now on this, you want to keep it up to the window. Let's see, we're going to get over here. Lead screw right here. Give that a real good shot. I cut a lot of single point threads. Here we go, you see it come out the front there. Lots of single point threads. Let's see, did I get them all? Did I get <laughs> These two take grease. And you want to be sure and look that it, you know, because sometimes these uh, alamite fittings take uh, oil. Now, here's the headstock oil. Here's the level here. If you overfill it, it leaks out here. <laughs> here, you want to fill it up to the top of the window, the top of the cup, and then it picks up um, from the clutch gears and, and helps lubricate that up there. Okay, up I get, and what did I do with that can here? We got, a, we got an oil fit in here. We get that. This old oil can see better days. I got a bunch in there. Got a bunch out of there too. One, one here on the top of the uh, compound. Rats got it. Slopping oil all over, but I put it on this rag here and it gets in the right places later. Okay, now this is fun. Check out this. Okay, gotta get that out of the wall can. Everything's looking good. Okay, right here, all needle bearings in these uh, idlers. Ah, I feel it going in. Here. Hope I'm not blocking the way. Maybe I'll get over here. Get way right over here. Knock everything down. Give everything a good shot. Right there. Right there. 
right there and here kind of behind here this one's hard to get Whoop. got it wipe off the excess take and oil these gears now what I'm using is a anti-wear 68 hydraulic fluid it's close to uh, what Axelson recommend in their manual I think you could use AW46 but I think this quiets the machine down a little bit more using that little thicker and it's cheap so I use a lot of it okay so I got that get this over there oh quite a workout anyway so I think I got everything except the taper attachment and I'm not using that so I don't need to oil it yeah okay looking real good now you guys have a have a good morning, and I'll, I'll get back on some progress and uh, get over and help Rob on his sale, too. Okay, bye.